Last night, law enforcement responded to Roma, Texas, to the Roma Bluffs at approximately 10 p.m. because a group of people were picked up crossing into the United States illegally. When they got to the area, standing in the middle of the street was this precious little girl, screaming as loud as she could for her mama who had been left for whatever reason. Now, this little girl's believed to be between the ages of two to three years old. She's Honduran. And if you notice on her wrist, she's got a wristband. It's not two, it's one. They've wrapped it twice to make sure it doesn't come off because to Cartel de Gafo, also known as CDG, she is nothing more than a commodity. If you're from Honduras right now, ladies and gentlemen, the price to cross into the U.S. right there in that area, and I know it very, very well, it's about 3,000 U.S. dollars. They don't have the money. So what you're witnessing with this unaccompanied child is trafficking, not smuggling, through what we refer to as debt bondage. It's the third and final form of the trafficking realm. And it's what's playing out every day. And if you're sitting there saying to yourself, well, at least it's only one incident, well, according to CBP, in the last five months, over 53,000 unaccompanied alien children like this one have been picked up along your southwest border. We're trying to illuminate what's happening at your border, and I'm sure the social media guides will take me down once again, and that's just fine. But I can tell you this, right and wrong still matters, and what's happening on that border is not right. This is great work by law enforcement saving this little girl last night. To all of you out there who hold the line and are still doing what's right, God bless you. Thank you for what you're doing. And as always, be safe out there.